What's up everybody, welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Let's Fly RC, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to install Beta Flight on your Windows PC and connect your flight controller. The procedure on Mac and Linux is very similar, but we're going to focus on Windows for this tutorial. Navigate to github.com slash betaflight, click on Beta Flight Configurator, and on the right hand side, you'll see the latest release, Beta Flight Configurator 10.9.0. Click on that. If you need an older version of Betaflight Configurator, you can click on releases in the upper left hand corner and you can scroll down to see all of the releases that have been uploaded to GitHub over time. Today we're going to install Betaflight Configurator 10.9.0 on a Windows PC. If you'd like to see what's changed in Betaflight Configurator 10.9.0, you can scroll down and read the release notes, but we're going to continue scrolling past all the release notes down to assets and that's where we're going to download our installer. On a Windows PC, we're going to download win64-installer.exe. Once that's finished downloading, click on the exe file and open it on your computer. You may have to accept a couple of warnings to allow access to Windows. Go ahead and click allow access to all of the warnings. Once you've accepted all the warnings, click OK to begin the installation. Click I accept the agreement and click Next. Choose a folder to install it and click Next. You probably won't see this warning. I already have this installed on my computer and I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite the current installation. Click Install. Now that the installation is complete, you can click Finish to run the Betaflight Configurator. One of the first things I like to do after installing the Configurator is go down to Options and permanently enable Expert Mode. This will allow access to all of the hidden areas of Betaflight that are not available if you're not in Expert Mode. If you choose to, you can also reopen the last tab on Connect, and you can also enable Virtual Connection Mode if you want to be able to use this without a flight controller. Now that we have Betaflight set up, we're going to connect our flight controller for the first time. You'll need a USB cable that can transfer data for your flight controller. These two connector types work with most flight controllers. One is a USB mini and one is a USB-C. You want to be sure to use a high quality cable that can transfer data while doing this. A lot of problems that people have not being able to connect to Betaflight are because they were using a damaged cable or a cable that's not capable of transferring the data. So make sure you're using a high quality cable and if you're having problems connecting, the first thing you should check is the cable. It's a very good practice to test your flight controller by plugging into Betaflight before building your drone. That way you don't spend hours troubleshooting something that could have just been a defective part. Take your USB cable and plug it into the flight controller. You should see some lights, either solid or flashing, depending on the manufacturer of your flight controller. If you get a warning that your USB device is not recognized or it doesn't show up in Betaflight under the COM ports area, you might need to install drivers on Windows to allow it to function. The driver fixer I like to use is the Impulse RC driver fixer. A quick Google search can help you find that or you can click the link in the description. Go to the Impulse RC download page and click on Impulse RC driver fixer. Once the installation is downloaded, click on the exe file to run the installer. Click yes to accept the warning if you see one. The Impulse RC driver fixer should automatically detect your flight controller and fix any driver issues you may be having. If the Impulse RC driver fixer does not find your flight controller, you can enter DFU mode to help it find it. Most flight controllers will have a boot button or a couple of pads that you have to solder together to access bootloader mode. We're going to press this button and then plug in the USB cable to enter bootloader mode. And now the flight controller has entered bootloader mode and the Impulse RC driver fixer should find it and fix the driver issue. If that doesn't fix your problem, another solution could be to restart Betaflight or restart the entire computer. And then try to plug in the flight controller one more time. One last thing to check is to try a different USB port on the back of your computer. That solved my issues in this situation and Betaflight connected to the flight controller. Some flight controllers may have a different firmware installed on them other than Betaflight, like this one here. Not all flight controllers come pre-installed with Betaflight. If you plug in your flight controller and get a warning like this, you may have to install new firmware on your flight controller. We'll discuss installing firmware in another video. When it's ready, I'll put a link in the description. But for now, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what flight controller you're installing Betaflight on. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'm Let's Fly RC, and we'll see you next time on Rotor Riot Workbench.